Okay, hello everyone. Can't believe I actually have to talk about another winter storm coming for New York City in a seven day period, but it seems that we have to talk about this once again. So, let's get into what's going on uh, with our storm right now. So we're going to get our uh, little friend over here that draws, um, that draws for us. <laughs> Oops, do apologize. I don't know what just happened there. Just had a little bit of a black screen. Oops. There we go. Okay. I don't want to have a hiccup over there. Making sure we're good. Yeah, we're good. So, let's do this for an example. This over here is going to come to New York. Okay, I think we got that pretty clear. That line is the snow. So what's happening here? Why is the snow coming, you may be wondering, and what's encouraging it? Well, we have another system in Florida right now, which is causing tornado-like conditions. So let's, um, let's start from here, and then merge it up to here. And then let's take all this warm air for an example merging here yeah that would be fair put that line over there make it make it a little bit accurate so what happens is all of this you see right here the snow the blue line the red the rain all coming up to new york that's why we're getting another storm unfortunately now i will go into why this could have been prevented all of this could have prevented if these two storms kept moving to the south, all the snow in Chicago right now, and right now we're looking at snow that should have went to the south, now it's coming to New York, it keeps moving to the east because you have the rain in Florida, all the tornadoes today, and uh, Orlando is in a tornado warning till midnight tonight, so, uh, you know, more alarming than that. Before we get started, um, I want to show you something very interesting that goes back to um, Thursday. Let's go back to Thursday for a second. Can we get a uh, can we get a better view than this? I guess we can't. Okay. Thought there'd be a good representation of the clouds clearing out, but uh, guess not. But on Thursday, something remarkable happened. I mean, the clouds cleared out. So let me try to do something else here. Let me go to, um, let's try this. Maybe I can get a more recent image. Let's go back to 40. I mean, it might, might help me over here. And let's see if it can get me back to Thursday. Because Thursday was a beautiful blue sky. I mean, even with the snow... That was around on Thursday. I was able to go out on my front porch on Thursday. So I wanted to just, you know, take it all in. Because we haven't had a beautiful sight like this in years. I'm talking years. Let me see if I can refresh it. You apologize. I have no idea what is going on with this. Guess I can't get a... Uh, <laughs> guess I can't get what it looked like on Thursday. Alright, so I guess we'll just move on. Okay, so Thursday was a nice clue nice blue sky very clear beautiful right even though it was cold now here we are winter storm warning here we go again with this winter storm warning in effect from 6 a.m to 9 p.m tomorrow so that is february 7th and of course many people are going to be home tomorrow watching the super bowl so um the NWS was supposed to give me an update at 6. They gave me an update an hour early than I expected. So, um, this is what we know right now. Uh, 4 to 8 inches expected for uh, northeastern New Jersey, New York City, southern Westchester, western Long Island, and southern, well, southwestern Connecticut. Now, here comes the problem for my friends who are out in the eastern part of Suffolk County. Central Islip, Middle Island, my friends out there. Looks like they're going to get more snow than I am. Or anybody else of my other Nassau County friends. Six to nine inches of snow expected. 
Snowfall rates half one two inches per hour likely. Visibility one fourth mile or less. Temperatures will be in the upper twenties to lower thirties on Sunday. Wind gust of twenty to thirty miles per hour Sunday night for the coast. So power outages could be expected. Uh there's gonna be a lot of angry people trying to watch the Super Bowl and all of a sudden they have no power to watch the Super Bowl on Sunday. So uh that's not gonna be fun. Okay, they think the snow tall, uh the the worst snow they think it's gonna be from nine AM to six PM for the uh heaviest snow to come. 6 to 9 p.m. So I'm thinking there should be no logical way that they're going to have to um, have the in-person learning shut down on Monday. I mean, maybe it'll be delayed on Monday, but there's no way that's not going to happen. The road should be fine. And they're going to be out all night plowing. And again, I'm going to say this, Ed Grayson, keep up the good work. Because uh, we were plowed a lot on Tuesday. And on Monday, and even on Sunday, last week. So I just mentioned that. Sanitation Commissioner. Keep up the good work. Okay, um, let's go to current conditions right now. And maybe we can get a three-day history. How about that? Okay, so here we go. 43 is the current temperature at Central Park right now. Um, wind right now is at 8. We've been having a problem with the wind since last night. So we'll get into the three-day history. Um, wind chill is at 38. Um, here's the problem going into next week, and we're very worried about this. Uh, temperatures are going to be... I thought I saw something in the long run that was supposed to hint. Uh, yeah, here we go. This is what I'm worried about next weekend. We could see lows back in the teens next weekend. So, uh, perfect timing that indoor dining's coming back to New York City uh, next week, hopefully. But um, I will mention there was a tweet from the mayor... Um, let's see if I can find it even. And I also retweeted this. So, uh, you're on Twitter at Andy's Randomness. I just want to see if the mayor mentioned, um, indoor dining. Yeah, here we go. Did he mention it? Yes, okay. So, we have confirmed report. In line of the upcoming storm... Outdoor dining will be suspended on February 7th. Right move by the mayor, but again, we don't know if in-person learning will happen on Monday. If not, then everybody goes virtual on Monday. So everybody likes snow days, but I guess not. Um, anyhow, winter storm warning in effect from 6 a.m. tomorrow until 9 p.m. Let's see how this uh, winter storm warning goes out. Just want to see for a second. Okay, wow. So this winter storm warning goes all the way up into, if I am correct, yeah. Goes all the way up into Boston. Because Boston might see some heavy snow. It's certainly possible that um, Boston can see something. Let me just check Philly. Yeah. Even Philadelphia is under this. Wow. And again, I do apologize. I don't know why my OBS just keeps randomly doing that. So if you see a black screen, not my fault. Maybe it is. Let me just go further south. No. Oh, no. I want to go to the DC office. Yeah, look at that. I mean, this is incredible. Just incredible. Okay, so let's go to our GFS model. And we'll take a look to see both the systems are going to merge into one. When I saw some pink earlier, maybe that was my imagination. <laughs> but let's take a look here. Here's Sunday. Here comes the snow. So it could be a mix in other portions. Because remember, that low pressure system's the warm front. High pressure system is the cold front. There it goes. Going to be very quick. Then we go into Monday. Going to be fine. Um. Let me just check the NAM, and then I'm going to take a look to see if we get more cold. Hang on a sec, folks. Look at that. Another significant uh, thing's coming. In fact, let me pull up New York, New York again to see uh, what the forecast is for Tuesday night. 
Oh boy, guess what? Snow sleep mix likely on Tuesday going into Tuesday night. Well, that stinks. Okay, look at that. Something else on Thursday. Man, this is going to be a rough winter. And then look at this. More precipitation expected on Valentine's Day. So let me just check the NAM. Pull that up. Thankfully, OBS is starting to finally cooperate. I don't know how it is, but it is. Okay. I'm going to go to 12 hours. Yep, and here comes the snow. Right there. See that? Comes up, sneaks up, it's incredible. But again, it, it moves very quickly, which is very good news, which we want to see that. But then here comes the snow sleep mix. It's only time will tell, but I'll keep an eye on that one if it uh, becomes significant, unlike this one that's supposed to be significant. So, it's going to be 3 to 6 inches for a safe bet in the city and parts of Western Nassau and most of the viewing area. It's Eastern Suffolk that's probably going to see a lot. Eastern parts of Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts. You'll see the 6 to 9 inch snowfall amounts. Then let's go back to the GFS. So I want to see in the long run... Uh, the, not the dew point, no. That's not it. There we go. Oops. That's the right one. Okay, let's check the long run temperatures. I want to see, I want to look into, go to Friday. Well, that wouldn't be it. Friday. Yeah, look at that. Get some really cold there coming up. But I want to see what happens next weekend just for fun. Then we'll go to Wendy.com and then we'll wrap this up. Yep, there's the green. And then look at that. Wow, we're really going to be cold on the 15th. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Real dangerous cold expected. Possibly on President's Day. Then it stays like this for a while. We may not even see temperatures hit the 30s until... Maybe the week of the 20th. Okay, um... Check windy.com. We're gonna check the, uh... Snow def. That's not it. Do apologize. Check the NAM. Whoops. My bad. Okay, what are we looking at? Not seeing anything for the next 24 hours. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything for the next 48. There we go. Next 60. Let's do 48 for a safe bet. Okay. So what they're thinking on windy.com, they're thinking 6 inches is a safe bet for a majority of the area. Then when it really gets into the dark green, which is in Suffolk, as you're seeing right here, that's where the most snow is. So safe bet would be to put New York City for a 6-inch total in Queens. Maybe further west, the west you go. But that is a possibility. So now we're going to take a look at the wind gust. And get an idea of the long run model. We're going to go to Sunday morning. So let's see what it says. And get you some wind gust. Okay, here we go. Looks like the wind gust does pick up at 11 o'clock in the morning for eastern Suffolk. So it's shifting a little bit to the west. There it goes. Wow, look at that. The wind gust is really having a hard time trying to shift. Oh, 
Spoke too soon. Here it comes from Jersey. Yeah, we could get... Uh, yeah. Wind gusts could really peak at uh, the overnight hours. Wow. Yeah, that tries to die down um, the wind in the wee hours of Monday morning. So they're probably concerned at the end of the storm that the... Uh, the wind gusts could really peak at 9 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah, I'm in agreement with Wendy.com. I'm thinking that's definitely possible at this point. Alright, so with that, we're going to wrap up this video. I tried making it as brief as I could. Did the best I can, but um, this will have to do for now. So... Uh, I'm hoping to have snowfall total amounts on Monday, and we'll go over that here. So, uh, that, thank you all for watching. Stay safe during the Super Bowl. Hopefully you don't lose power and you can enjoy the game. And until the next one, please take care.